So what we found is um, a new way that cancer cells can uh, hijack our white blood cells, these cells that normally protect us, to help them spread to other tissues. And that is related to this image here, which is something called electron microscopy, where you can see very high detail. So this white blood cell that we have looked at is called a neutrophil. And neutrophils are very common in our body, it's our most common white uh, blood cell. It's normally working by attacking the bacteria or the yeast, uh, literally eating them inside the cell. But uh, some of these microorganisms have developed ways to avoid being eaten. And then the neutrophil has countered again with these very peculiar methods that's sort of indicated in this picture. So up here you have a normal neutrophil. It's nice, smooth and round. And down here is a neutrophil that has uh, taken its DNA, the DNA that's normally inside the cell and is encoding for all our building blocks in our body, this DNA is instead by the neutrophil being used sort of like a spider web. And in that spider web, it's put in the enzymes and toxins that are normally used to kill the bacteria inside the cell. But now instead it kills the bacteria outside the cell, entangling them in the spider web and then killing them in place. So we were looking at how um, cancer cells are arriving to the new tissue. So when cancer cells spread from the original tumor to different tissue, they often spread through the blood. And um, these spider web, we think, are helping the cancer cell spread because these uh, enzymes that are normally used to kill the bacteria also can uh, digest um, and dissolve our tissues. So by doing so, there's more holes and the cancer cells can better get into the tissue and better expand. So the big question for us now is, can you um, prevent metastasis by targeting this process, by preventing the uh, white blood cells from forming nets, or by other way, um, attacking these spider webs? And um, it here was a clue that in cystic fibrosis, these neutrophils are forming uh, spider webs uh, at quite high number because of the persistent infections that are in the lungs. So you can treat cystic fibrosis patients with a agent that dissolves these spider webs. And that agent, we tried to test it in the mice to see if it worked. The problem we had though was that once you put it inside a body, now you're just not just inhaling it, but you're putting it in the blood, it has to go where the cancer cell goes. Now our body starts um, eliminating this agent. So we were collaborating with a group at Dana-Farber, Michael Goldberg's group, and they have developed something called a nanoparticle that when you attach it to um, this uh, dissolving agent called DNase, now you have a drug that is stable in the body for much, much longer. So in the experiments we are doing in the lab right now, we are trying to find out what is the best um, way forward, well, how do we identify the patients that could benefit from this kind of treatment um, and how do we give, how do we best attack these spider webs? Are there uh, alternative ways of attacking it? When should I attack it? All these kind of logistic problems that are critical to address before you start uh, giving this type of treatment to patients.